Hey guys, in this video you're going to learn the 10 habits of a healthy and long-lasting person. Now these habits have been through a whole bunch of books that I've read and articles that I've read and even studies that I've looked at reports from and these are habits of people who do live a very long life and are also quite healthy. So we're going to take a look at them and see if you can break them down and implement them into your own life so that you can be healthier and hopefully live longer. Habit number one is that these people move around for at least 30 minutes a day. Now physical activity has all kinds of benefits from psychological to physiological to all kinds of even your friendships. The quality of your friendships can increase just by moving around for 30 minutes a day because it increases the healthiness of the neurons in the brain. Now I would suggest this 30 minutes of movement is a bare minimum and if that bare minimum is a struggle, make it something that you enjoy doing like playing a sport. If you like lifting, then go and lift. If you like running, then go and run. If you like running, do not go and lift if that's not what's going to motivate you to move around for 30 minutes a day. Habit number two is that they have a favorite sport. Now personally, I'm not much of a sports guy, but I do enjoy playing basketball with some friends. And I think this helps a lot in moving around for 30 minutes a day. In fact, when I go out and play basketball with my friends, I don't even realize 30 minutes has passed. It's usually an hour or two hours, and then the gym's closing, and it's like, wow, I did not realize I spent that much physical activity enjoying the time with my friends. Habit number three is that they educate themselves about the food that they put in their body. Now, this is something that a lot of people struggle with because there's a lot of myths and bad information on the internet. But what you can do is sort through it. So just read as much as you can and you'll kind of start to understand, all right, this is a myth, I don't need to believe this. This is a bad article, this website gives out horrible information. It's just something that you do over time. You just have to continually educate yourself about the food, about macronutrients, about calories. Even technical stuff like how to build muscle and how to lose weight. That stuff's super important in being healthy. Habit number four is that they have a meal plan. Now this isn't something that I've really implemented in my life, but I do kind of have a schedule. And what it is, is I have certain meals that I go through my day and I know these are healthy enough. They don't have any major carcinogens. And if I eat them at, throughout this time of the day, then I generally feel great afterwards. So having a meal plan or at least a meal schedule is something that a lot of healthy people have in their life. Habit number five is sex. Now I know a lot of people might actually get offended about this, but loving intimate sex is what this means, not a fling or a weekend thing. It's just that loving intimate sex produces way more total beneficial hormones in your brain than a weekend fling does. And if you do weekend flings, one night stands every week, you can actually start to form an addiction. And the dopamine quality in your brain will start to reduce and that can actually become a negative habit that you'll have to get rid of later on. So try to form loving, intimate relationships and within those intimate relationships, I have found that people that are super healthy and live a long time have sex quite often. Anyways, onto the next habit, habit six, to drink at least two liters of water a day. Now I have carried around a two liter bottle of water one day. For some people, it's going to be a ton of water, especially if you're used to drinking pop or soda throughout the day. When I was little, I drank a lot of tea. So switching from tea to water was quite a challenge, but now, for the past like six months, I have not drank anything other than specifically water or milk. And I have noticed that one, I pee an awful lot, and two, my mood is way better when I wake up. Like when I, if I go to bed, right before I go to bed, I chug usually like eight ounces of room temperature water. And what happens is, for some reason, that helps me get to sleep better. And when I wake up, boom, I'm ready to go, usually because I have to pee really bad, but it wakes me up. It's like almost like a cold shower. So drinking tons of water is something that a lot of healthy people do. Habit number eight is that they are outside a lot. Now I got all kinds of numbers on this, from two hours to eight hours of sunlight, but I do know sunlight can cause skin cancer if you do not protect yourself from it well enough. But your body will start to produce more nutrients from the sunlight, like vitamin D I think is one of the main ones. And people can actually start to get depressed if the natural sunlight is taken away from them. It's called SAD or Seasonal Affective Disorder. So there are proven benefits of having sunlight. Habit number eight is that they get at least seven hours of quality sleep. Now there are all kinds of tips that I could name here to help you have 
quality sleep. And that's what's important, because you can have sleep, but if the light's on and there's a weird noise in the background, you're not going to have quality sleep. Try to keep the light off. Don't have any caffeine for less than six hours before you go to sleep. Turn down most of the light. Even on your phone, there should be like a, a brightness thing that you can turn down. I don't recommend working out or eating an hour before you go to bed. There's just tons of tips. I think I actually did a video review of one of the books called Sleep Smarter. This is an amazing book. Anyways, seven hours, quality sleep. It will help you become a more healthy and another benefit is you'll probably live longer. Sleep has been correlated to health over many years and many studies, and it's just, I'm not going to doubt that. I'm going to get quality sleep, and I urge you to do the same. Habit number nine is that they meditate frequently. Meditation is not something that I normally did growing up, but I have read many studies and have had many testimonials of people who have meditated that it actually improves the quality of their life, from handling their emotions better, to improving their sleep quality, to even feeling more peaceful throughout the day. Just a couple minutes of meditation right after you wake up or right before you go to bed can increase, I think it's called gray matter in your brain. And I think technically, don't quote me on this, I think technically can increase your IQ over time. Now that's not quoted, so don't take that to the bank. But anyways, habit number 10 is that they smile. They smile a lot. Healthy people, for some reason, I don't know if it's correlation or causation, but they smile a lot. Maybe they're healthy because they smile, or maybe because they smile a lot, they are healthy. I just know there's a correlation between this. So I'm gonna put myself in a lot of situations where I can smile, where I'm happy, where I'm fulfilled and joyful and just motivated to do stuff throughout the day because there have been times in my life where I wasn't like that. And I would choose the happier, joyful, motivated moments anytime. Anyways, I'm gonna review these 10 habits of healthy and long-living people because I've been requested having some summaries at the end of videos and I just want your guys' opinion on it. Habit number one is to move for 30 minutes a day. Habit number two is to have a favorite sport. Habit number three is to be educated about the food that you eat. Habit number four is to have a meal plan or meal schedule. Habit number five is sex in a loving and intimate relationship. Habit number six is to drink at least two liters of water a day. Habit number seven is to be outside a lot. Now, I didn't get a number on this, but the more you're outside, I would say the better, up to probably around five hours. Habit number eight is to get at least seven hours of quality sleep. Habit number nine is to meditate frequently, and the last habit is to smile. Now, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some gold nugget of knowledge that you can use to implement in your life to become healthier and maybe even live longer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more. If you guys enjoyed that video and want to read the book I wrote that it came from, search Amazon for Habit Harvester or click the link in the description. The book is short enough to read in one sitting, but is jam-packed with tons of information just like you saw in this video. In fact, I've also added a few extra stories and fixed some of the errors found in this video course. There's also plenty of amazing illustrations to aid in the learning process and keep the book fun to read. If you're interested, you can buy the Kindle version for $2.99 or sign up for a month of Kindle Unlimited to get it for free, which is what I personally use and you get access to millions of other ebooks and thousands of audiobooks included in your Kindle Unlimited membership. When you buy the Kindle version, you don't even need a Kindle to read it. You can download the Kindle app on your smartphone, download the software for PC, or even read it on Amazon.com through their cloud server. If you want to watch the rest of the videos in this series, click this thingy or check the link in the description for a playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching.